Maguire was faithful to death. He stayed with his mother till she died at the age of 91. She stayed too long, wife and mother in one. When she died, the knuckle bones were cutting the skin of her son's backside, and he was 65. Oh, he loved his mother above all others. Oh, he loved his plows, and he loved his cows, and his happiest dream was to clean his arse with perennial grass on the bank of some summer stream. To smoke his pipe, in a sheltered gripe, in the middle of July, his face in a mist, and two stones in his fist, and an impotent worm on his thigh. But his passion became a plague, for he grew feeble, bringing the vague women of his mind to lust's nearness. Once a week at least, flesh must make an appearance. So Maguire got tired of the no-target gun fired, and returned to his headland of carrots and cabbage, to the fields once again, where eunuchs can be men, and life is more lousy than savage.